You all know me. I don't have the particularly strongest record when it comes to Genesis in these kind of videos. So you know what? I'm walking into this and I'm just going to say this deck is considered pretty good. Like, I didn't personally think it was that hot when, like, going into the Zero Championship uh, spring, but a lot of people brought it. A lot of people brought it. They got knocked out in top 16, but this deck is apparently, you know, seen as very strong. And I have been playing it a fair bit because I was like, hey, I mean, seems pretty good, right? It's not too hard to set up, but man, figuring out it took a while. And so I'm going to already tell you this. I am not the greatest player when it comes to this deck. So if I make any Pepega plays, if anything goes wrong, if things go south, my apologies in advance. All right, y'all, what's good? It's time to take a look at how Genesis, and specifically Regalia, has evolved over time. So we're going to be taking a look at the updated Regalia deck. You just had Minerva to enjoy in Global, and it's already updated in JP with CEO Yggdrasil. So this is going to be my build. Uh, there's definitely a lot of different builds and ratios and like just ways you can build this deck. I think the grade twos here are pretty set. Grade threes, honestly, a lot of people play like Minerva. Some people play more Angelica like I do. I like to tech this i like to call this deck like control regalia because it's very much just like you pop your opponent's stuff non-stop with the use of her the hesperus she says when in the soul she's put into the drop zone you give your banger the skill that when it attacks you retire an opponent's rear guard so soul blast like two of her pop two of the opponent's back row rears if you ever go into the uh brunhilde she soul blast six count almost two on Lunar break five to choose three of your opponent's rear guards and retire them and then for each one that you retire you draw a card and she's a cross fight with angelica and has that claw of like when she's cross riding cross ridden then she gets her limit break five reduced to limit break four so it's kind of heavy on that front and of course we run the guard restrict ceo yggdrasil so of course this legions with the norn and her effect is when she attacks the vanguard if she's in legion state soul blast six for that battle she gains an extra critical and when your opponent would sentinel your opponent has to randomly discard a grade three or higher from their hand if they did not they cannot sentinel so with that we can basically kind of bully the opponent and basically force them to keep discarding grade threes you know so that they you know have to survive otherwise they take it in and lose and then another thing is her second skill which both legions have which is once per turn vanguard circle if you have another regalia specifically in the middle column you can soul blast to draw one so it lets you empty out your soul basically to set up your drop zone to legion the stuff back and also just like you know use any effects that are like on soul blast for example the uh not grappa the valencia here so her effect is you know when put from the soul to the drop zone you soul charge until you hit two non-triggers so you know helps us to refill that soul while also filling up the drop zone for legion the backup legion as well is the nyx so, so, so she legions with the hemera and her effect is second effect is the same as yggdrasil so once per turn if you have regalia in the middle of column uh soul blast three draw one but the first effect is once per turn when a card with the same name as your vanguard is put from your soul to your drop zone if you're in legion state she gets plus 5k in a crit it's only once per turn but that means if you soul blast for her second skill and you soul blast out either nyx or a hemera then she gets that extra power and crit, which helps to push your opponent to four, and then basically just like ask for great threes and PGs every turn with Sea Rig Drizzle after that, which is quite cool. The Hammer's effect is when she's placed from Rigor Circle, you basically take three Regalias from your drop zone, put them into your soul. So you need to be careful to like Legion first if you only have like a few in the drop zone. Uh, there is also Grade 1 that does that. I run two of her, which is the Shiny Angel. So those the exact same effect, you know, literally the exact same. I still run the Ciders because she allows for a bit of early push as well as actually secure your early soul because you can basically call down an Interceptor and then a Cider. And then you basically like the Interceptor goes into your soul. And if it's something like... For example, the Hesperus, then you actually get to, like, Soul Blast it out next turn, which is really, really cool. Uh, I've only played two of the Norn. There have been games where she goes to the drop zone, and I, or, like, to the damage zone, and I cry, and then I can't Legion with Sierra Drizzle. His Her skill isn't that good in Zero. When she's put into the drop zone from the Soul, uh, your Regalia Vanger gains 5, 5k power. Power just doesn't matter as much in, like, in this deck, right? In, in the TCG, this was really big, because your opponent could only guard with triggers, you know, with great Zeros, but... Yeah, that's not really a thing. Of course, Chamomile is still super important, so we run four of her, you know, when Soul Blasted, Candle Blast 1 to call her out to a rear circle and give her plus 3k. The grade 1, uh, Melissa does the same. We only run one of her because of space issues, mostly. Just whenever you have space. And yeah, apart from that, we basically have the, there's only one type of PG, and the starter, which is the, uh, Play Angel. Pray Angel, sorry. Pray Angel. So when you're in Legion State, you can put her into the Soul to Soul Charge 3, and you give your Vanguard plus 5k, and she has Resist. So she basically provides 4 Soul in 1 card, which is really nice, especially for those early game Nyx plays. So typically, we go, like, into Nyx first, 
and then we kind of like push the opponent a little bit or especially going first is really nice because you can go into nyx and just soul blast three to draw and like set up your drop zone for next turn and then the turn after you legion up push them with a crit and then go into the CU rig result to kind of finish off games or just keep pressuring out their pgs while retiring all their rears and it works out pretty nicely so this is a more controlled build of it there's definitely many many ways to build this deck so definitely like fiddle out with some ratios like try out different things there's definitely a lot of different ways to build this deck so don't feel confined to what i present to you today but if you're struggling to play the deck or you're not sure how to build it maybe this will be a good starting point for you guys so enough talking let's get into a couple games and see how the deck goes and hopefully we don't go zero two the way we usually do for genesis all right here we go it's finally time unfortunately i haven't gotten the legion uh, era misaki skin yet because it's 200 v medals and they add it in the middle of the month after had i had already traded my medals away so i could only get the kai one and then next month they already revealed they're adding like gaillard and neve for like 200 each so i don't know if i feel like opening 500 packs just to get some skins next month so we'll see so we're using the summer one and hey it's almost june so if anything it's 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 in fashion right now all right this hand is interesting i do want chamomile soul to ride her this is also a nice grade one to start on like ride this and then keep this for putting stuff in the soul so i think we can go with this all right angelica so you might be wondering like oh when do you actually like use angelica and stuff generally if the game is going slow you can afford to actually like, sit on the break ride for a bit but if you're going first, I always like to ride the legions first, because that way you don't... Because you can't legion if you're going first on turn 3. So I just like soul blast 3 um, to draw, essentially. That's that's all I really do. So yeah, it works out pretty nicely. But of course, you need to like... Basically, like we need some kind of intercept to actually get the soul here. To use the cider to get that into our soul. Otherwise, you need something that like takes regalias from your drop zone into your soul as well. Or right, we hit a draw. Into a grade 2, perfect, perfect. That's all we could really ask for. And a PG on top of that. Fantastic. Alright, let's go into the chamomile here. Just so we can soul blast her out later on. You also sometimes like use her skill in the main phase too. <clears throat> just because you wanna like, you know, you basically just want a unit for free. That's about as complicated as it gets. Okay, we hit the heal early. That's actually pretty big. That lets us like send back the heal and the draw to deck after this. And it gives us more regalias in the drop zone to put into the soul if we need to, so. Everything about this has been pretty smooth sailing so far. Also, you always want to call the starter behind the Vanguard, purely because it's a Regalia, so you get that requirement of like having another Regalia in the middle column, even without being in Legion, which is really huge, so... Let me brighten my room a little bit. <laughs> Gotta get these lights up. Ooh, he used Blaster Blade just to rush me for two damage. That's interesting move. I'll say that much. It's definitely interesting. It's a draw as well. Okay. So then this turn... I still haven't hit my retire card, so my whole, you know, control playstyle isn't really showing up too much yet. Let's go into the Nyx for now, though. You can hear line. Alright, thank you, Nyx, for that beautiful voice line. Alright, let's just use the skill here. We're gonna Soul Blast 3 and draw a card. Okay, we drew into a heal. Sad. I don't have any steps in hand, so I think just to protect myself, I will call her out. We're not using Candlebots for much early either, by the way, so like that's kind of a big reason. Oh, I should have called her here to make a 19k column. That was a misplay. Whoops. I'll call out the heal so that like maybe it'll get attacked into or something. You know, you know how they do these kids and they're attacking into rears. We only have one heal left in deck, so I think I'll. I don't care about healing out here. I think it's not going to happen if anything. So just to not lose the defensive from my little misplay there. We have the draw. That's good. And the soul filler. That's good. That's good. A double draw. Hey, very good. All right, so now we have four triggers to put back into the deck, which is really nice. Heal, draw, draw, draw. That's good. And he's at four, so we're at that sweet spot. I could just re-ride into CO Yggdrasil for next turn. How much soul do I actually make from that, though? Because looking at it here... Let's say I put back the four triggers, right? I will have two cards that she will target. She will be a soul as well. The three... Oh, actually, we do hit enough. Thanks to the starter, we hit enough. Yep, 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 we hit enough. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. So you kind of got to use your opponent's turn to think out what you're going to do next turn. Depends if he heals here, of course. You know, he's playing Gans Gans Revolution. And, you know, Gans Gans Revolution is... One of the strongest points of it is that it can heal three billion times. Unless this is his heal. No, that's a draw. Ooh, he's going for that big setup. And no Think Saver this turn, I guess? Oh no, unless he... Yeah, he's gonna get the Counter Charger. That makes sense. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's not worrying about attacking into my heal. 
Oh no, this is a 12k attacker on rear, so kind of needs that in the front, huh? Kind of yikes. <laughs> kind of yikes. All right, hit me, buddy. I got a PG. It should be good. And he has two cards in hand. It's just a question if he heals or not. If he heals, I might be a little bit in trouble, especially because he's gonna restand here, so he has like two shots at it. But if he goes down to three, I can just hit him for one damage, right? We don't have retire like in the main phase or anything, but we have multi attack thanks to Kamomil, so it's not too bad. All right, here comes Thing Saber. Discarding another two here. All right, we still haven't seen a single heal from this man. I'm getting kind of worried. So I'm going to get pushed to five, which is fine, to be honest. It's pretty okay. All right, here comes a heal. Nope, PG. Here comes a heal. Nope. Still not. Huh. And he has two cards in hand, which means that Yggdrasil might just win me the game on the spot here. I mean, let's give it a go? Let's try. I mean, nobody's going to hurt you for trying, right? All right, there's a voice line. I know you guys love your voice lines. I would never take them away from you. Let me overcall this, because I have two great twos in hand. Uh, so I'm going to overcall and then seek mate. Seek the mate. All right, then we have like enough regalias in the drop zone to put them into the soul too. Yeah, so I'll just send this to the to Legion with. Here we go. Alright. Thank you for that line. Very good. Uh, no chamomile, huh? Unfortunate. That's okay, though. We can call this out. Whee! Look at all this soul. We have eight, but we don't have anything that refills, right? No, we don't. Okay, we can't use the skill to, to soul blast and draw. Alright, in that case, we just do this. There's nothing too complicated about it. We just go pop, swing, soul blast, a bunch of triggers basically. <laughs> we don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, we can put as many regalias out as possible so we can recycle them afterwards. So here we go, get the crit and get the guard restrict. So he needs to show me some very nice great threes followed by a PG. All right, there's a heal coming back. Love to see it. And that might be game. Maybe I should have attacked with rear first, but then he could have drawn into something. Blaster Blade, he hasn't healed yet on me. This could be a heal. It's not. Wow. Fast game, huh? Fast game, fast to dub. But that's kind of like the game plan, right? Especially going first, you have the time to do that because you don't need to Legion going first. So you can use that soul. Like, it might sound weird like that I'm saying like, oh, you don't need to Legion going first. But the thing is that you use that soul for the draw effect and to basically like trigger any like on soul blast effects and things like that so it kind of works out damn did i de-jinx myself <laughs> with my intro this video i hope so that would be the best case scenario but you never know you never know this might just go south after this game i don't want to say anything i can expect it to go south instantly that's just that's just how it is these days you know that's just how it is all right game number two another royal paladin it's almost like everyone plays Royal Paladin on ladder. And we're going first again. I would kind of like to show you how going second looks, but I don't want to like keep re-rolling these games. Okay, this is a really nice opening hand. I'll keep one PG because I don't think we need it early. So I think one is fine. This is a really good like start too, because Soul Blasting, the Valencia, is just really nice. Our Yggdrasil found as well. That's good, that's good. So yeah, Valencia first ride is good because she refills the soul after being Soul Blasted by like whether it's Nyx or Yggdrasil, um, for that draw effect. It's just that you really need to hit the Cider. So, like, you know, I only play three, but it's like you could see a case where you want to play the fourth one instead of the Melissa, as weird as that might seem. Like, Chamomile's refill board is actually, like, almost enough in some instances. And it's also the fact that this deck just has too many good grade ones that you barely have space for everything that you want to play. All right. Uh, would have liked to see you too. Unfortunate. I guess we can still believe in that coming up. Like what I'm saying with this is that we believe in top decking one of the soul refillers, and just kind of like aggress anyway. I think that's that's a that's a plan. I think. I think that's a plan. All right. Here's a defensive. So this is gonna be a one to pass. Let's see if we pass. We don't. That's okay. <laughs> that's all right. That's fine. No blaster blade for them. Okay. So, of course, you know, with a lot of Legion decks, you also aggress early because, like, them attacking into your intercept gives you another card in the drop zone. So now it's just a question if we draw into one of our, into one of our, like, soul refillers. And we do have quite a few, you know, three of her, 
and two of hers, so still five in the deck of 31. It's not too bad. If he's gonna rush me, he might hit a draw or something as well. Let's see how bad he wants to rush. Ooh, he wants to rush. Oh, he's gonna probably use Lian to discard and draw. I think. I, I think? Yeah. Ooh, burning the Gancelot? Has my man drawn into every single Blaster Blade? Or does he just not want to put it back? <laughs> Questions we don't know the answer to. Questions that science cannot answer. No, he had a Blaster Blade in there. I wonder why... Ah, uh, there's a Cider. Would have liked that last turn. That's okay. Heal? No? Nothing? Alright. Top deck? Mmm, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, we can't draw now. It's kind of a sad thing. We'll keep that for next turn. And we have to make, make a pretty weird column here to push damage, which I'm thinking, like, do I even want to push damage here? I might just want to swing rears and turn off his blaster blade and stuff. Although, not that really matters. But we turn off Thing Saver. We get a bit too slow for my liking, but... Is it okay? I don't want to commit these two, that's the thing. I'm gonna just swing rears. He, he did a good job setting up double intercept here because I committed that rear early, expecting to high roll, and got kind of punished for it. And we're seeing no trigger so far too, which is kind of sad. Not a single one on drive or on damage, which is... I mean, it happens. Anything can happen in a game called Card by Bangor. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, how are y'all enjoying Overdress? How are you enjoying Legion? We have the new set coming up very soon. As usual, we'll open a bunch of packs. I'm quite disappointed, though. They announced the sparking for the Japanese server's 1.5 year anniversary. And you can only spark cards that released before Legion. Which is like... Why? You know? That was like the cool thing about the anniversaries is that you can spark anything, including the set. So that would make opening the current set much easier. And somehow they were just like, nope, sorry, no, no Legion stuff for you. I think they're keeping the thing where if you open 50 packs, you can, like, get a free triple rare confirm one. Which I guess is nice. But I don't know, man. It's kind of, like, feels weird. Like, why would you not enable people to spark stuff on a 1.5 year anniversary? Like, this, this is supposed to be a special period. And it really doesn't feel like it. That's, that's my biggest problem with it. Is that the 1.5 year anniversary is supposed to feel special. And it just doesn't feel like it. Alright, four damages, and like, however many drive checks, and not a single trigger so far. I think we might have to take this game as a statistical anomaly if this continues, and just go like, alright. Yo, there's a draw into a trigger. Cool, I guess. <laughs> cool, I guess. Good thing I have a PG in hand. But yeah, we're getting bodied here so far. I don't, I don't like that. Definitely am not a fan. <laughs> if you were to ask me if I was a fan or not, I would have to say that I am not. Dude, I need to like rewrite into Nyx or something because this this is really bad. Just to have the soul. We have no other way to get the third soul or to Legion. So that kinda hurts. And her effect is very reliant on like soul blasting a card with the same thingy. At least we can control the board a bit. Alright, give that retire skill here. And then soul charge two. Alright, that's a good soul charge though. It's a really good soul charge. Okay, I think we can Legion now. Just put back PG, Legion Maid, and the Grade 2, I think. No, put back, put back the Valencia, actually. Grade 2, I want to put back with the... I want to put her back with a different skill. So I guess it's okay. We just use the starter here to, like, set up, and then hopefully we hit a Yggdrasil later. It's a bit of a weird game so far. <laughs> That's all I'm going to really say. It's been a weird game so far. All right. Use the skill of the starter here. Soul Charge. I guess that's fine for a setup, but we don't have Battle Phase... We don't have anything to do in the battle phase, which kind of sucks. Yeah, we're gonna just pop the counter charger, I guess. I wish I could do the her effect twice here, the Hesperus like two times because that would let me like completely clear this board, and he would lose a lot of his like composure here. But fortunately, it's just one. Boom! At least we gotta kill it. All right, draw. Now show me. Oh, I needed this card earlier, man. We needed you earlier. Double draw. Okay, the draws are really coming through, so that's good. That's good, at least. I can be happy about that. Alright, he hits the- ooh, rank rewards thing saver. That's the current rank season, actually. Alright, so we have one PG and one intercept. I think I'm dead. We haven't seen a single heal yet, but I think I'm still dead. Like, I don't think that part has changed. I don't think that part changes at all. Okay. Goes to the wingle. How much- Oh, okay, he was one discard away. I see, I see, that's fine, that's fine. 
So, Blaster Blade. Ooh, the top 1k or top 100 reward too. Might be playing against someone pretty big name here. Mizuki. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you. Oh, that's interesting. So he's gonna Legion, which searches a great tour higher. And then the Gilda searches for any Seeker. So he's probably gonna search the Countercharger. He's gonna search for a actual great two here, though. Let's find out. All right. Countermost one. Yep, there's a Countercharger. And he's gonna still search. Yeah, I mean, it's a free search. I guess it doesn't hurt. Just get more Interceptors. Give me more targets to get rid of from, a, you know, my retire skills. Oh, uh, that's also really good. He gets a better attacker that way. So we do need to pray, pray for a heal. It's like pretty statistically likely that we will hit one, but you never know. You never know. He's still on two damage too. Yeah, I think this game is probably a wrap. I don't see a way where we can actually make it out of this. This looks... Yep, yeah, heal. Nope, not even. <laughs> yeah, this game was just pretty bad. Like, I think maybe my early mulligan, honestly, I might have lost at the mulligan stage. I should have probably... I'm not sure if I had a card that soul charges from drop in hand at that time. Yeah, like those games just happen sometimes, right? Like going first is generally like better for this deck, but sometimes you just even if you do, you still get bodied. Wow, I did two damage that whole game. That's depressing, dude. Look at how low my VP is. This season ends in like four days. Crazy. All right, let's do one more game. We'll do three because the first one was so quick. Second one ended pretty fast too. Like we were the ones that got bodied on that one. So I don't know if that ended that fast actually. It was, it was longer than the last one. The last one was just like a quick quick one too. Alright, so you get a third special one. Because the games haven't been too long. Is it going to be Royals? No, it's not. It's Narukami. Mr. Calvin, let's have a good game. Right, I guess this is going to be Brawlers. I think. Maybe. We'll find out. Okay. This hand is interesting. We're going second. Uh, Nick's setup going second is a bit hard. It's still a good going first ride though but i wonder if Yggdras Yggdrasil is safer it's just that i don't know how i'll soul blast after setting up that big soul i guess let's stick with the nyx going second let's, let's try this let's try the nyx okay we got the cider that might actually help for the setup it's just a question of like filling up that drop zone fast that's like the thing like genesis doesn't really have like the best cards especially in regalias so it's like a bit more like xenophobic of an archetype it's a bit hard to set up in that sense. So yeah, something we need to, again, tread carefully. Nyx and Angelica. Angelica is interesting too. I don't know if I need Angelica here though. If this is the game for Angelica. The main reason she's there is because you can soul charge her and then go into the Brunhilde and like, you know, cheat cross ride, as people say. All right, wheel, wield hifts, <laughs> whiffed heals. <laughs> or we wield hifts as I as I say um, are definitely okay, you know, for the early stages. We can put them back to the deck with Legion, so that's okay. And it fills up my drop zone for Legion too, which is like something I can't complain about too much, so that's okay. I'm just thinking here now. My man is rushing me. God damn, bro. Relax, dude. It's okay. Don't don't worry about it, dude. It's okay. Man, it's fine. Oh, man, it's not fine anymore. <laughs> it's not fine anymore, not unless we check a heal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, that's a good top deck. We definitely want to ride that. All right. What's the plan? <laughs> What's the plan? Um, How do I set up three soul and the extra crit afterwards? I think I have to commit these. Commit these. And then we can get the draw effect from her soul charging, and I don't have to commit the cider yet. Can keep that for later. Because I do want them in the drop zone, I think. Or that early legion. And this way we have her in the soul. Yeah. It's always this going second early startup that's kind of awkward. That's like the only thing that I don't like about this deck. Alright, hit me a trigger. Hit me a draw. Hit me something hot. Something attractive, if you will. Nope, nothing. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. He has three cards in hand, though, so we're a little bit of a different situation here. I mean, he's also rushed me, so, like, Angelica is, like, off the table. Angelica is definitely off the table, because that man is hungry. He just wants to push. Look at this man, dude. Look at this guy. He's pushing. My man is just pushing. All right, hit, like, a heal. Hit a heal so we can heal the PG out. I want the PG back in the deck, please. 
right now. God damn it, dude. All right. Uh, well, I guess we go for this in Soul Blast 3. <laughs> I don't want to overcall stuff. We give up the crit. It's fine. Soul Blast 3 for the draw. It's okay. Nyx, we get the retire, but the retire doesn't matter here either. That's kind of sad. All right. Decent Soul Charge. It's decent. Yeah, this doesn't hit because it's resist. My enemy, my mortal enemy, resist. All right, let me call this down here, and then we just basically seek tomato, seek tomato. All right, uh, this goes back to deck because I need it in there. I guess you can stay. No, actually, the retire needs to stay. I'll need it for later. All right. Whee! Here comes the next legion. Bada bing. Very pretty. Lack Sensei's Arts. This is the Bruce artist. If you're playing Overdress and you familiarize yourself with uh, Violence Bruce, then this is a good friend. This is the friend that you know well now. Alright, so no crits. Just push. He has two cards in hand. He will retire my board from Legioning, which is kind of annoying. But I have a PG to protect myself with. And please, can I see a crit? We see a draw into another PG, which is also good. Heal! Good, good, good. That PG can finally go back. I just want to send that PG back. Let me send the perfect guard back to the city. Ooh, crits! Word. Word. I guess the only thing I could have played is Cider, maybe? <clears throat> but we don't have Yggdrasil to do the thing with, if you will. Okay, he's, he's gonna Legion here. I think his last card I had is a PG, and it's an old PG too. However, if I had Yggdrasil here. Maybe I should have kept Yggdrasil in the mulligan hand rather than Nyx. That's like what I mean, like, this is probably like an awkward play that if you're a really good, like, uh, Genesis player, you would have never made that play. Like, you would have kept Yggdrasil and just going second rid in Yggdrasil instead, and, like, Guard Restrict pushed with the crit, you know, and that's just a misplay that I made because I'm just not as good at this deck, and that's sadly the the simple logic that we're going by here. Oh, I wish he would with heals. Damn it! He drew instead! So rude! How inconsiderate. How inconsiderate. All right, let's find Bro, oh, because we topped that Yggdrasil. Jesus Christ, I think we might be able to win here. Let's go, Yggdrasil. I have a Norn that I put back, I think. Oh, please tell me the Norn is still in deck. Oh, I nearly had a panic. Oh my Jesus Christ, man. This deck scares me, I can't. I can't do this, bro, I can't do it. All right, let's Legion first. Put back Heal, Heal, PG, Yggdrasil. Let's put back both PGs, to be honest. Whee! All right, you can get, get to see the SP Yggdrasil too. Would you look at that? It's a service from me to you. Uh, we can soul blast this out to re soul charge. So I guess it's fine. We can use the draw skill. Soul blast this. Soul blast this and this. I think that's fine. Those, those are things we want in the drop zone. I think. Whee! Draw. Hey, that's a good draw. That's a good little draw right there, buddy. Look at you. Look at you go. Good job. I'm proud of you, man. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. All right. Get that in there. Get that in there. And then get that in there. All right. I think we're good. Push first damage first. Don't draw. <laughs> Don't hit a draw. Thank you. Now we attack. Soul Blast 6. Uh, we can take this out. Set up another intercept. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I missed the timing, so I shouldn't use that now. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have... Damn it. I messed up a timing. Again, apologies. I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub with this deck. Apologies for noob plays. But it'd be like that sometimes. Alright, set up the second intercept. Even if he re-legions re this, um, you know, I'll lose some cards, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. Alright. Okay, okay. Show me the PG and Grade 3. Oh, he drew the Grade 3! Would you look at that? What a champ. What an absolute Giga Chad. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right now. Alright, at least we can take out his rear. Optimally, if I would have used the Hesperus correctly, it would have popped the uh, Helena. And then that would have been gone. So the entire column would be gone and he'd be left with like one card in hand and like maybe unable to like make right columns and stuff like that. Even now though, he's staring at a double intercept column. He just has to like swing rear, swing rear. And then I have, like, Guard Restrict again next turn. I don't actually have it. Um, awkward. 
I don't actually have the garter stick next turn. No, I do because I used all oh, hold up. I used the the cider. I cannot read my own cards, unfortunately. If anything, him passing here would have been better than taking out my rears. Kind of funny how that works out because he just gave me free soul. It's kind of crazy to think about, right? It's kind of crazy to think about. All right, do I have anything that refills my soul? Not quite. So I think we just attack here, just for the guard restrict. So yeah, and I think I can attack into Vanguard first like this to check the heal, and then we attack with the extra crit with 22k power. I think that's absolutely fine. Going in for game here. Heal? Nope. All right, GG's. Would have been two more crit after this, so yeah. We ran it back and managed to win going second. I think I probably misplayed not riding Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil first because the Nyx didn't really do much going second. So if you have more tips for Genesis and Legion, please let them know in the comments. I look to learn from you comments from the lovely community at home. I really, really request your cooperation and support. Thank you very much. But anyway, that's it. That is CO Yggdrasil. That's Regalias in Legion. They only really get one wave of support, but the deck is pretty good. It was quite dominant in the TCG as well, so it's cool to see that even with a complete rework of this deck, you know, it's, it really works completely differently compared to the TCG in, in terms of its like function in the game. It's still really good. It's still very strong. A bit more of a control playstyle. Works out pretty nicely. It's just too many good cards that you like don't have enough slots in the deck to actually fit everything into. So that's kind of the rough part of it. But everything else is definitely very, very fun. Anyway, though, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Drop a sub if you haven't. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.